The vigil tonight honored the Twin Cities woman whose husband allegedly killed her this week during Bible study. He's charged with her murder, the second domestic violence homicide in St. Paul this year. But her light can still shine. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard live in the newsroom for us with the legacy that this woman leaves behind. Corin. Yeah, Amy, Karina Woodall's friends and co-workers tell us her legacy will be saving lives like her own. That's the kind of work she was doing before she died, and they're hoping even death can't stop her. Karina Woodall had a vibrant persona that announced her presence as soon as she stepped into a room. She liked the leopard cheetah print. She likes bright colors. And she always had this great big smile on her face and you could just see and feel the joy that was in her. Mickey Roach and Cam Yorin worked with Karina at Metro Hope Ministries, a faith-based addiction recovery program. She graduated from the program herself and went on to work with the women and children who followed. She started working towards becoming a certified counselor, too, but her helping hand extended far beyond the job. She served in so many different capacities. She served at food shelves. She served doing child care here. She was at, um, you know, Freedom Works. She was at Serenity Village. She was, um, you know, she was at Twin Cities Outreach. Twin Cities Outreach had a moment of prayer for Karina Friday night where her friends and family members paid tribute. St. Paul police say Karina died Tuesday when her husband stabbed her as many as 20 times during a Bible study with his family. He had a history of domestic violence and had a warrant out for his arrest for an alleged assault on a guard during his most recent prison stint. This was the second domestic violence homicide in St. Paul this year, and both Minneapolis and St. Paul are recording domestic violence incidents at about the same pace this year as in recent years. Karina's co-workers say domestic violence can be its own addiction. They hope her example does what Karina would have done herself, freeing other women from dangerous situations. We know that her light is going to continue to not only lead people to the Lord, but give them hope to step out of addiction, give them hope to step out of domestic violence. I hope that she's their voice. I hope that because of this, uh, they find the strength to to fight back and to leave and and I hope that um, I just hope that that she just saves so many people's lives through her story. And friends tell us Karina led a beautiful life after getting through her addiction struggle and they'll remember that instead of the ugly end. Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.